Hi, welcome back. <laughs> Maybe you thought we'd be talking about spot price volatility or something like that, but we've already covered that election uncertainty would send prices up and news of a successful vaccine would send prices down. So there's nothing new there. I thought instead that we would take a look at a new gold coin. A really, really nice new gold coin. I got some new gold. This is some brand new gold to me. I've never had a gold Britannia before. This, of course, is a one ounce gold Britannia. And the Britannia itself is definitely not a new coin. They've been around since 1987. But this particular 2021 coin from the Royal Mint is noteworthy for a few reasons. The big one, of course, is the new security features, and we're going to get into that in a minute. I just figured I should start off saying that I'm actually biased against this coin. This is not a coin that I have bought. This is not a coin that I was intending to buy. Uh, you know if you watch these videos that I tend to stay very focused on U.S. Mint products for a few reasons. They're easier to sell. They're just more popular here in the United States. So I typically just buy eagles and buffaloes. Now that said, I think that this is clearly the nicest coin of the year. The security features the Royal Mint have put into this coin are really what you should be able to expect for a $2,000 coin. Two of those features are going to be really hard to see on video. One is this new privy mark. It's a trident or a padlock, depending on the angle of the coin. They use uh, some kind of magic hologram effect, and it's really impressive. The next is some micro-engraved Latin script, and I won't even try to show that on camera, but it reads, uh, and forgive me here, my Latin's a little soft, but it, it reads Decus et Tutamen. And the rough translation there is something like ornament and safeguard. Now, if we compare that to my two favorite coins, the American Gold Buffalo and the American Gold Eagle, uh, they really don't even compare for security features. The Eagle, in particular, has none. Now, uh, we all know that there is a redesign coming out next year in late 2021, and it's long overdue. I think that we'll see a lot of the same security features I would even like to see some of that background. You'll see, we'll get back to the Britannia in a minute to look at those waves, but uh, seeing some kind of field makes these a lot harder to counterfeit. The privy mark, that's important. Now, there's none of this is uh, scheduled to happen on the Buffalo, and I think that's fine for now. I actually really like just how rugged the uh, gold buffalo is. And I know a lot of people will, will like that as well. They'll want to continue with the coin that maybe doesn't have some of this new technology applied. I think the important thing is just being able to have a little bit of that choice. So again, at the moment, it's, it's actually really hard to compare the Britannia against these coins. The only one I can come up with as a solid comparison is the Canadian Maple Leaf. Now, the Maple Leaf has undergone some of these security features ahead of the Britannia. I think they've done a fantastic job as well. These radial lines uh, have made this uh, a much more difficult coin to copy. They make the entire coin look better. Uh, <laughs> I think we'd all agree though that this side of the coin could use a little bit of work. <laughs> if you compare that to the Britannia, this is what a, a, a queen should look like. Uh, the Britannia does this right. You know, I know a lot of people don't like the queen side on these coins. It's just, there's just too many coins with the queen on them as far as I'm concerned. And a lot of other people are concerned. It's just an oversaturation. Now back to the, the other side. Uh, obviously the maple here was kind of the trailblazer for these security features. That privy mark on the, on the Canadian maple leaf is very impressive as well. It has micro engraving and it'll say at 20, so it'll, it'll show the year of the coin. Uh, and it's also a unique pattern. So the Canadian maple leaf can actually be stored in a database, the unique qualities of that coin. Uh, I don't know of anything like that on the Britannia, but I think they've done everything the maple leaf has done for security and even taking it, taking it further. 
So if I lived in the UK, I'd be very excited about this coin. Uh, I'm, I'm excited about it, but I can only get so excited that I peak <laughs> since it's not a US Mint coin. Now I'm expecting a lot of this again to show up on the American Gold Eagle. I'm actually really excited about the relaunch next year. I don't know why it is, but I seem to be the only one. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna trigger a few of you by touching some gold here in a minute without uh, white cotton gloves. <laughs> So everybody hold on, we're gonna be okay. Now I mentioned a few reasons, uh, not just the security features on this coin that, that really make it stand out to me. And I would say that this is a case where the technology behind creating this coin actually makes it look a lot nicer than really any of the uh, Britannias before it. You could argue that the 2010 is the best looking coin, but the waves uh, that you can see changing in the, the background, the field of this, just really set this coin apart, makes it really cool. Again, I would hope to see something like this on the, on the Eagles. I think that could make it look even nicer. But once again, it's just very clear that you would not be able to counterfeit this coin. Uh, I don't think technology exists that would allow you to use anything other than gold to get this level of detail. And I think that you'd have to have a hell of an operation to be able to create something this detailed. Again, I'm not going to be able to get this microscript in on the inner border, but, but it's impressive. Honestly, I can, even on a one ounce coin, I can barely read it uh, without, a, without a magnifying glass. Now, something that threw me a little bit on this is that the diameter of this coin is 32.69 millimeters versus the American Gold Eagle and the American Buffalo that are 32.7. Now, you would think that that would be exactly the same, but it actually rattles around in the direct fit capsules that I have. And because it is a proof finish, a reverse proof finish, it's going to be really easy to scratch them. I'll probably keep it in a black ring capsule until I figure that out. Now I'm not trying to trigger anyone, but back to the American Gold Eagle. And again, this is my personal favorite coin for uh, for stacking. It just does not <laughs> does not look as nice as the Britannia. Uh, I know everybody loves these sculptures. I think the back, the family of eagles going to the eagle head. I'm actually looking forward to that. I think by the time it, it hits the sculpture, the relief, it's going to look really nice. The front, I wish they'd have a modern classically trained sculptor come in and uh, improve on this you know same subject same general idea but just technically improve it uh, lady liberty's uh left leg and right arm they <laughs> they're not really anatomically correct i actually think it's easier to compare to the buffalo which seems really weird but i grabbed a proof buffalo here and, and a reverse proof would probably be a closer match but if you took this coin and you added some of that micro engraving on it i think that alone would make this a, a much more difficult coin to copy to counterfeit and uh, that would improve it beyond that though i'd say leave that buffalo alone so if you remember uh, a few videos back i was i was wondering which way to go this or the swan really this was kind of the clear winner for me because of these new features i think the security features actually make it uh, a much nicer looking coin so back to that whole ornament and safeguard it makes it look nicer it also makes it safer i just think it's a fantastic coin i'd expect to see some of these kind of features hitting the uh, the perth mint before long too and again, next year, we should see them on the Eagle. I'm looking forward to it. So personally, I don't think that this is a coin that I'm going to stack. I'm, of, of course, going to keep this one. Uh, but I would say that this is, at this point, this is definitely one of the nicest, uh, nicest gold coins that I own. So if you're looking for options, whether it's a, an alternative to what you normally stack or you're just looking, uh, you know, you're in Europe uh, and this happens to, to make sense anyway, I think that this is a a fantastic coin again i know i've said it but uh, i think this is easily the best coin of the year i know that's confusing since it's a 2021 coin and we're still stuck here in 2020 uh, either way i think it's fantastic i think we're going to continue to see market volatility for a while and that's going to continue to send gold prices both up and down uh, i did get this order in before the election so i was able to avoid the big jump up in price this week but you know, today we're back down and that, uh, that really uh, came earlier than I would have guessed. 
So I just say again that if you have people telling you to back up the truck and, and, and buy or it's too late or all of these things that we're hearing right now, just maintain a little bit of skepticism. Uh, I actually still think we're overheated. I think the, the price still has a ways to come down. If you're in the market though, you're shopping for a gold coin, uh, one more thing that's really nice about this particular coin is that the premiums on it are considerably lower than a lot of the other options like the Eagles and the Buffaloes and even the Canadian Maple Leafs. So there you go, one ounce gold Britannia. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Make sure you hit that like button. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate it.